Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update June 8, 2019 edition. Wen Tian Lu is an upcoming Chinese wuxia fantasy drama starring Xing Ling and Joyce Jian. There's no English title yet, but the Chinese one literally translates to Questioning Heavenly Records. It tells the story of mythical figure Zhong Kui in his juvenile years as he sets out to hunt demons with his friends. Zhong Kui is traditionally regarded as a vanquisher of demons and ghosts. His image is often painted on Chinese household gates as a guardian to ward off evil spirits. Xing Tao Ling plays Zhong Kui. Yes, the resemblance is uncanny. In fairness, he plays a much younger version of the character, whose name is actually Zhong Yunfei. Joyce Jian plays three characters, one good, one evil, and one in the middle. And as the leading female character, one would assume that she has a romantic connection with Xing Tao Ling's character at some point. Joyce was recently in the modern drama Game of Hunting with Hu Ge. Wen Tian Lu started filming in October of 2017 and is slated for 40 episodes. Since the last time I updated on it and released a couple of trailers. On the topic of Xing Tao Ling, his new drama Blowing in the Wind with Eleanor Lee premiered yesterday on Yuku. I skimmed through the first episode and it looks alright just like any other modern web drama. One thing I did notice though is that the lead actors are overdubbed, which is fine it happens all the time although in modern dramas I usually expect them not to be. But many of the other actors are not overdubbed, which leads me to think since you're shooting with sound why not just use everybody's real voices. Eleanor Lee is from Singapore so maybe there's an accent issue, but Xing Tao Ling is from mainland China. He's capable of speaking with the standard Chinese accent that they want for these dramas. Anyways, it's just a bit of a shame that so many fans love his dramas, and yet I don't think he's ever used his real voice in them. On the topic of recently aired dramas, just a quick update on a couple more that have premiered. Bureau of Transformer premiered on June 5th on Aichi. You can find it on other non-official streams and unofficial channels on YouTube. The Lost Tomb 2 Explore with the Note premiered on June 6th. You can find it on an official channel on YouTube. Sisyphus is an upcoming modern drama starring Wang Qianyuan and Lu Han. It tells the story of a police officer played by Wang Qianyuan who pursues a suspected serial killer played by Lu Han and in the process dies together with him. When he wakes up, he finds himself in the past, reliving the same day of his death over again. Also in the cast are Qi Xi, Tiao Xing, and Wu Ye. The drama was announced about a month ago and has released a half minute teaser trailer available on YouTube. I'm a huge fan of Bill Murray's 1999 comedy Groundhog Day and also Tom Cruise's 2014 sci-fi film Edge of Tomorrow. So Sisyphus to me is not the most original concept, but an intriguing one nonetheless. Sisyphus in Greek mythology was a cruel king who was punished by the gods to push a large rock up a steep hill, only to find it constantly rolling back down. He was doomed to pushing this rock tirelessly for eternity. Having seen his previous dramas like Sweet Combat and Fighter of the Destiny, one may think that Lu Han has too much of an idol image to portray a serial killer. However, However, they call it acting for a reason and this will be a great opportunity for him to show his acting range. He does look pretty creepy in the trailer. He's also in the company of Wang Qianyuan, who in my opinion is a great actor. Wang Qianyuan was terrific in movies like Saving Mr. Wu and Peacebreaker where ironically he played awesome villains.